Welcome back. You're watching What's Hot on CNBC TV 18. After declining continuously for four quarters, Nomura's composite leading index rose for the first quarter of 2009. This index is used to identify the turning points in the growth cycle. On What's Hot tonight, we ask, does this mean the economy is close to bottoming out? Joining us, Sonal Verma, Vice President, India Economist at Nomura. Sonal, uh, many thanks for joining us. What does this pick up in the first quarter of 2009 according to your index indicate? Well, uh, it indicates two things. Uh, first of all, it indicates that the worst is uh, actually we're going through the worst quarter right now in the second quarter of 2009. Uh, clearly, we've seen very aggressive uh, policy action, uh, monetary policy easing as well as the ample fiscal policy stimulus. And the index is therefore uh, suggesting that we should see some pickup, even though at a subdued level, uh, from the third quarter of calendar year 2009 onwards. Right, Sonal, but on what basis or what are the factors that you've actually looked at or considered when you say that the economy is actually bottom out or is bottoming out? Uh, we are clearly seeing some signs of that for sure. Uh, some of the recent numbers we've seen uh, on auto, cement, steel numbers have surprised on the positive. I think, uh, you know, the uh, huge pay hikes that the government has given clearly is uh, boosting demand for the auto sector. Uh, same is the case with uh, cement and steel uh, where various government spending is boosting consumption. It's very important uh, because uh, currently uh, a lot of the consumption pickup uh, is coming through entirely through inventory drawdown. And our view is that if we continue to see a sustain, sustainability in these consumption items, uh, we could uh, see uh, production pick up in the coming months. The IIP numbers for February are expected tomorrow. A CNBC TV 18 poll actually believes that they are likely to contract. But whatever figures we've seen so far, uh, does it repose any confidence that the worst may be behind us? Uh, I think it's uh, still a little early to say that on the industrial production side. Uh, what is clearly important, uh, you know, is the fact that you are seeing some pickup in consumption demand uh, uh, for some of the IIP components like the consumer durable items. We've continued to see, well, at least in the latest readings, we've seen some pickup. Uh, the consumer non-durables uh, segment, uh, again, we're seeing uh, strong demand from the rural side. Uh, so I think what we will see in the coming months is uh, production pick up uh, because inventories are being drawn down to, uh, 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 you know, boost demand uh, currently. Right, but Sonal, what is your assessment of real GDP growth in FI10 and what are the numbers that you're working with? Uh, I think uh, for fiscal 10, uh, we're looking for a GDP growth rate of about 5.3%. Uh, fiscal 9, uh, we're looking at about 6.4%. So overall growth rate in fiscal 10 will continue to be weak. I think the bright spots for fiscal 10 really will be uh, government uh, spending uh, as well as uh, strong rural demand. What we'll continue to see is uh, sluggishness uh, in private investments. Uh, but I think it's very important to uh, really look at the pickup that we're seeing in some of the consumption items because if this pickup in consumption is sustained, uh, then we can hope for some recovery in uh, private investments uh, in the coming quarters as well. One final question, Sonal. Uh, you spoke about those fiscal measures being taken uh, and a host of monetary action as well. Do you expect the RBI to step in with some more monetary steps? Yes, uh, we are expecting another 100 basis point on both repo as well as the reverse repo rate. Uh, two main reasons for that. One, uh, like you mentioned, fiscal policy is really getting into a period of uh, limbo and uh, therefore we think uh, RBI will have to fill in the space and cut phrase. And I think also from the growth inflation dynamics, uh, growth continues to slow down much faster than what policymakers had uh, expected. And inflation, we are headed into a period of uh, negative WPI inflation. Uh, so we do think there is more uh, scope as well as need for further rate cuts. All right, with that, Sonal, we leave it. Many thanks for joining us on What's Hot.